Yeah, I mean, I thought we were pretty good for two periods. Then the other push in the third, I think we kind of backed up. We are a lot of defending, and we didn't have enough juice to jump on offense after that. And it was defending again, defending. So I feel like we kind of had our backs against the wall for the third period. So that's where we got a fix for sure. Playoff series, you played in the emotion obviously grows throughout. Did you feel like that happened in game two or just going to go throughout the series? Yeah, I mean, I felt like it was more physical than the first game for sure. It was more chipping, uh, hitting, and everything. So, uh, I mean, that's how it is. It's two competitive teams. We're playing for something, right? You need to do better against McDavid and Dreisaitl. Well, I mean, uh, playing their zone. You know, we know how dangerous, how good they are in offensive zone, so we our focus definitely spending less time in D zone instead of the offensive zone when they're on the ice for sure. You want those guys to play defense. Remember you told me sometimes it's easier to play a team in a series because you see them game after game. I don't know if it's easy to play those guys for well, You're learning games. something every day yeah. from them for sure. There's uh, there was a different look for sure they put them in the same same line. So uh Definitely, we're gonna do a better job. I feel like we made it a little bit easier on them last night. So uh, I mean, it's a long series. We're confident. We're a good team. We're lost in overtime. Not a big deal, you know. Back to Edmonton, take care of business. Talk, talk about being harder on them when they're out there together, and that's such a fine line of not chasing them, but when they are in the corners and stuff, is that something you guys feel like you can do a little more of? Yeah, I mean, it's it's all about battles and all those details, you know. So if you win a want to spend less of D zone time. You gotta win those battles, you're gonna get the puck out, you're gonna get on offense. So I think it's that's the main focus for sure. As much as the focus is on those two coming out of that game, when they're not on the ice, is that especially when you guys need to sp- spend more time on the other end? Like the fact their other lines were able to sort of hem you guys in, is that as problematic as what they did? Yeah, I mean I feel like those guys cut the set the tone. So I think it's definitely started from them because they're their best players. That's what they do. That's what every best player on the team does for their teams in this league. So I think it's uh, they're all the all the team all their lines were picked it up. You know we were still spending too much time on our D zone for the lines as well. So it's definitely a, the, the the whole team process. Yeah. What do you think of the Kane hit on Hughes? Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. What I think uh, there's a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions after every game about officiating, you know, it's and nobody's going to answer those questions. We can stand here and cry about that. <laughs> Nothing's going to change, you know. There's a game three coming up. Uh, just going to be ready for it next time. What did you say to Kane on the um, It's going to be between me and him. Yeah, I'm not throwing guys under the bus to would, the media. Would we have to censor it if you did tell us? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Does it feel like this series is just getting chippier and chippier? Well, like I said, it's getting competitive, you know, like it's 1-1 one, one series going back to Edmonton, you know, it's uh, it's only going to get like that. There's a lot of competitive guys on both sides, you know, a lot of physicality, a lot of guys who play with the edge. So uh, that's what we expect, you know, like they, they're hitting our top players. We're going to try to hit their top players as well. So it's uh, it's the mutual interest in that for sure. You played playoff games in Edmonton before. Uh, is this something you're kind of excited about getting into that building and being the building again? It's fun. They have good fans. They hire fans. Uh, uh, I mean, it's. I mean, it's pretty much nothing else to do in that city except watching hockey. So I mean, I, I, I like what they do, and that's why they they love their team for sure and supporting them so hard. But uh, it's been fun. I mean, I only had a good experience over there for sure. That goal that you scored from a tight angle is that something you spend the time? We don't see you practicing that a lot. Ah, uh, I mean, I just I think that moment I was kind of skating down the wall and I, I didn't find a pass to the slot to anybody and I saw the little bit opening above your shoulder so I tried to just put it up there, got a good shot on. You know, I feel like uh, some goalies, there is different technique how they play that. You know, against Saros, it was a little bit more open because he's more smaller. Skinner, I think it was just a little opening there and I got lucky I hit it, you know. And I mean, some goalies standing up by the post, there's nothing open. So it depends on the definitely style of the goalie playing for sure. When you guys pressure them, it seems like a lot of times they just spin it and throw the puck in the middle. Is there some way that you guys are kind of focusing on defending that? Well, I mean, I don't think they just spin it and throw it out. They still work class players. They have a great vision. They they have a great feel of each other. So I think, uh, like I said, we get a we gave them too much space last night. I think our main focus take away the space from them and make them play defense for sure. How much are you enjoying this? 
being in the playoffs and being kind of the center of attention at times. You seem to have ele elevated your game too. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, that's the, I don't know. At least that's what I'm playing for, you know, like, like competition on the highest level you can possibly find in hockey, um, main stage, Canada, Sportsnet and all that, you know, I feel like you just, you get the energy all the time and you're just feeding from the energy and you're trying to bring your best every night. Thanks for the plug. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> when, when you were uh, in Calgary, obviously th those were always big games against Edmonton. So the McDavid, like if you looked at McDavid in game one and then McDavid in game two, they're two totally different guys. Which which was he more of? Well, I feel like it was more us too. You know, I feel like we did better job on him game one. We stayed above. We checked him. We make him play defense. We make him play in defensive zone more time. So I think that's the that's definitely uh, like a team effort to stop the, that kind of player. You know. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, we got to focus on our hockey, how we play, how we want to dictate the play, how we want to stay aggressive on the ice, uh, and not focusing on how we're going to stop. If we're going to be just thinking every time we go on the ice, how we're going to play against him, it's not, nothing good will happen. You know, we got to focus on about our game. We have a lot of confidence and we have a lot of skill in their forwards, so they can they can create those chances and they can spend more time in, in offensive zone. Change tactically when it's him and Dreisaitl? Like when it does. It's two of them? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Okay. I'm, I'm not gonna <laughs> tell you. Ask, well, it that. does. Yeah, like the coaches make adjustments, player make adjustments. For sure, it does. It's uh, like you gotta treat every player different. Every line's different. When they overload it with the one line, it, it, it does change technique. So great thing about a series, though, right? That you know you do adjust. It's like punch counterpoint. Yeah. Uh, counter punch. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's uh, you're watching video, you're doing some pre scout and. You try to limit the mistakes you did last game and try to do something different. What well, hopefully will work next game. Ian Cole's been a leader for you, a guy with a ton of playoff experience, and it sounds like a, a real active voice in that room through these first two rounds. Feels like just every bounce hasn't gone his way so far. Does anybody say anything to him at this point when the bounce? I don't know. I thought like you was fine. I mean, it was just unlike in uh, every time it just. The, the him and both in the goalie and Arthur, they went for the park and it kind of bounced. And I mean, I, I thought he played well for two games. I don't know. Uh, I don't think he needs anything. He's, the guy has what 120 at playoff games. You know, I think he has plenty of experience. He's got two cups. He knows what to do up there, and we trust him. And he's a great partner to play with. So I don't think we worry about that for sure. Go Canucks, go! We're just incredibly happy to have him. Kind of a jerk of a guy, but. <laughs> Oh, the Coos. Fuck yeah. the Coovers. Do the Bruins. Coovers. 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 The Coovers. The Coovers. The King Slovis reigns again. Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> Generational talent. Thanks for liking the video and subscribing.